योजना टुडे आई वुड टेल यू अबाउट द इंटीग्रेटेड मैनेजमेंट फॉर पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम आई एम पी डी एस बाय सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट यस सो हियर सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हैज रिलीज ए स्कीम टू इम्प्लीमेंट इंटीग्रेटेड मैनेजमेंट फॉर पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम फ्रॉम एटीन टू नाइनटीन एंड नाइनटीन टू ट्वेंटी ईयर सो दिस सेंट्रल schema sector will enable people to take ration at subsidy rates for from any place across the country there will be no restriction on village district or state to take ration under food Pro- protection law all the benefits can purchase wheat rice and subs at subsidy rates from public distribution system shop According to this schema will bring you transparency and efficiency in distribution of food grains. Government will identify fake or duplicate ration cards under IMPDS and enable PDS beneficiaries to purchase food grains from any shop of your choice across the nation. So main aim of the government would be to integrate PDS system or portals of state. Introduction of national portability to remove restriction on purchase of food grains from the selected cities deduplication of ration cards and beneficiaries now the government will be able to take fake ration cards and remove them from the list of selected beneficiaries the primary objective is to ensure that the benefits of various government schemes to reach many people and how is the portability going on So describes about the mechanism for the transparent and efficient distribution of food grains all the people having fake or duplicate ration cards will not be able to purchase ration at subsidy rates moreover all the pds beneficiaries will get benefit of purchasing entitled food grains from fair price shops of their own choice across the country in the current scenario the states like andhra pradesh haryana delhi government has already stated portability at the state level moreover karnataka maharashtra chatisgarh and telangana government has also started the portability in the few fps areas within their own territory government of india is not facing any problem of scarcity of food production but the main problem is management of agriculture production thanks for watching